All right, three ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, sorry, there was a small technical error. So, we are back in this game now. Uh, team Naughty Dylan banned Lee Sin, Riven, and China, while Team uh, Throws banned the Thresh, Fizz, and Yes, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that delay, but because uh, Team <coughs> uh, Throws have been playing back to back, so we gave them a small break. Well, it wasn't really small, it was like slightly long break. But anyway, we gave them breaks for them to catch their breath and get back into the second game of the Oman League of Legends tournament between Team Naughty Dylan who finally managed to show up all the members against Team Throws. So yeah, as you can see, Lee Sin, Riven and Jana have been banned out by the blue team and on the red team, Thresh, Fizz and Yasuo have been banned out. So yes, we're about to see the first picks now in any moment. Let's see who the first champion is going to be. Seems that Team Naughty Dylan are waiting for the last second to pick, and they pick a Rise, hopefully for the top lane. A top lane Rise picked up by Team Naughty Dylan, and in their counterpart uh, in the red team, uh, Mizuki is hovering over uh, Vladimir and a Blitzcrank. So, uh, Vladimir versus Rise in top lane, that's an interesting matchup that I would like to see. So they changed that Vladimir to Anar. Anar is one of the most annoying champions at the moment in the in League of Legends roster. He is another like a different version of an annoying team or so. But it seems that they are they are undecisive about what they're gonna pick. Lissandra is also a great pick. She's one of the uh, one of the great uh, AP mages now that we have in League of Legends. Her her kit allows her to initiate or disengage easily, uh, and her abilities in team fights are just devastating. Uh, team. Yeah, she's she's very hard to like dive against as well. She, yeah, as you said, she has a really good uh, <coughs> kit. She's really good at engaging as well, like um, initiating a fight like over a wall or something. We've seen. I think I think XPK played her once right if i'm not mistaken and no, yeah, I think, yeah somebody played her in season four and she did really well in the games but um let's see how she fits in with the new meta if there is a new meta right now but obviously there has to be a new meta but yeah let's see how it turns out all right so uh team uh, naughty dylan locked in ellie blank which is a strong pick because of her uh, burst damage even though that LeBlanc got nerfed uh, w when they removed the silence from her Q, uh, many players are maxing W with her, which provides a fantastic, uh, m moderately fantastic uh, lane wave clear and also burst damage when it's combined with the Deathfire Grasp. A Warwick jungle, uh, we mentioned in the start that War Warwick, is a Warwick is excelling in the new jungle because of his passive, so he can just farm, 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 and then when he hits level 6, he would gank uh, with his ultimate and result in a kill. So he's a very, very good jungle in this new meta. Uh, as for team uh, throws, they picked uh, a Jace and a Twitch. Twitch Blitzcrank is not is not per se one of the best lanes due to Twitch's burst, burst is not that good. I would I would prefer if they both switch AD carries, so if Team Throws get a Graves and Team Naughty Dylan will get a Twitch, but uh, Blitzcrank, break, brisk, Blitzcrank's job in, in the bot lane is to provide enough zone for Twitch to farm until the mid game when he picks up uh, his power spike. Um, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm surprised... I'm not surprised, but I'm not sure uh, if Jace will be mid or top. But uh, Alessandra versus Rise seems to be a 
good. Uh, I have more a feeling than... Lissandra's top and Jason's mid. Uh, yeah, thing, but... thing is, I'm not sure about the Twitch pick into a Lush, uh, Bram and a Caitlyn. I mean, Twitch is strong, but he needs some like good zoning and like he just needs to farm. Yeah, but, but if he gets but... engaged upon, it's really tricky. If you notice that Braum can actually cancel Twitch's ulti, so he would be if he uses his uh, his E, so he can block Twitch's ulti and he will because Braum's passive uh, negates the damage from the first projectile, and then he destroys the rest of the projectile if I'm if I'm not mistaken, or it's the other way just around. Just do less damage. Yeah. So the no, but it, it it doesn't go through him, right? No, so no, it he doesn't, can, doesn't. He takes the damage, but it like yeah, doesn't so, reduce damage. So so spray and pray will not be. Oh, sorry, uh, ratatat. Is it? It's called ratatat, right? Ratatat tat. Yeah. So spray and pray is the old one, but yeah. So uh, what? A blitzcrank jungle. A blitzcrank jungle. Do you see what I'm seeing? Yes, I see a Blitzcrank jungle as well. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. I mean, as I said, anything can work in the... Oh, mm. Morgana. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, the tricking us. Yeah, but as I said, like, anything is possible in this new jungle. Like, it can try out all these new things. This is, a, this is such an interesting uh, team comp coming down from Team uh, Throws. It could be that... Uh, what do you call it? The AD carry and support thingy that I was talking about and Morgana can be a solo lane no I doubt that because Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank can actually work in the jungle I've tried to play not in the new jungle I've never tried them in the new jungle but I did once uh, in season 4 I did the A to Z challenge junglers once I'm not sure if I did complete it or not so I played Blitzcrank jungle and he actually worked he had, he had a good kit but he needs a strong leash, and I'm not sure how he transitions into the new uh, meta jungle, but we will see this in this game. I mean, I'm really interested to see this yeah, jungle. The new buffs and items kind of can help any one jungle, I think. <laughs> so we'll see how this turns out. And the thing is about um, Warwick jungle as well. Warwick won't be able to be an effective jungler, I mean ganker, till level 6. But let's see if you can manage to do something. But as you can see, they have a Chase, Lissandra, Anna Morgana. So I'm not sure how a Warwick can gank before level 6. Alright, so uh, let's talk a bit about the bot lane since twitch has a morgana so the black shield will be really helpful for this twitch but again uh you have uh, caitlin which has seven million range i'm sorry but can i just interrupt you really quick i'm yes. really craving mcdonald's for dinner i really want to have mcdonald's today i'm sorry guys i think i'm sorry if anyone's hungry out there but i really want a mcdonald's for dinner today i don't know why i just didn't have it in a long long time so yeah anyway back to the game so, did you really just interrupt me for this? Yes, it's very Trivial important. Information. It's very important. <clears throat> All right, anyway. So, yeah, uh, Caitlyn with 7 million range uh, combined with the Braum passive, I think they can uh, do a lot of damage without taking any poke in return. But uh, I'm also interested to see uh, Toilet Paper, if he can actually land those Dark Bindings, I think, followed by Twitch's... Uh, Toxic something, whatever it's called, his W, and then by the expunge. Is it still called expunge? So yeah, they're they should be able to do a lot of damage. But a blitzcrank jungle. Come on, guys, a blitzcrank jungle. This is this is exciting, guys. Yeah, this is, this is so this exciting. Blitzcrank yeah. jungle. I'm gonna tweet this. First one. First scene, guys, on OMLT. It's the first time you see a Blitzcrank jungle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are loading into game two at the moment. Uh, team Naughty Dylan versus Team Throws. Uh, the players are already loaded into the rift. And we will follow them shortly. And 
we're going to try and hype up this game. It's going to be an interesting game. Uh, Blitzcrank Jungle, you don't see that a lot. And also, Team Naughty Dylan need to fight for their chance to uh, to advance to the semifinals. If Team Throws win this game, they will be the first team to advance to the semifinals. And the winner from... Uh, from the next match will be the one who's advancing to the semifinals. So this is interesting, guys. This is really exciting. We are already deciding which teams that will advance to the semifinals from week one, day one. So you only get these in OMLT. You get these crazy matches. You get this crazy tournament setups only in OMLT. So you've seen it here first. You've heard it here first. And we are loading this game. So, uh... <laughs> Soul Eye uh, from Team Naughty Dylan is not connected yet. Uh, this is the second game that we uh, were casting today, and both top laners from the blue side of the map gets disconnected. Rito, call it, please. Call it coincidence or Illuminati, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah, um, should be very exciting. Like, uh, can't wait to see this game. Let's see if Naughty Dylan has any new tactics or any counter to this Blitzcrank jungle. That's exciting. So yeah, I just I just want to see uh, AD Candy and a support jungle. I really want to see that. Well, you can try it tomorrow in your game. Yes, we we can we're gonna practice that and then do it. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. We are loaded into the new Magnificent Summoner's Rift. And as you can see, the players are... What? Do you also have only shadows? Uh, it happened last game as well. I think it will start in a bit. It's that thing when it loads before the game starts something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, they disappeared. <laughs> it was it was a... It's a loaded it was thing. A yeah, and oh, and here we are. The players just are summoned into the new Summoner's Rift. The new, magnificent, great, sexy Summoner's Rift. Okay, so, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, pose like a I... Pose coming, like, yeah. Because uh, the top laner from Team Naughty Dylan is Deceit. Let's see what... what When is he reconnecting? Yeah, what... Uh, just remind people of the rules about the DC. How long and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad that until now that we did not have that much impactful DCs. But uh, the rule says that if someone gets a bug splat or something, and that he is unable to reconnect within two to three minutes, which will make th uh, and the only possible way for him to reconnect is to recreate the game. We can recreate the game if if it's less than five minutes of playtime and no first blood but if they get a first blood or or it's f uh, past five minutes then the game will have to continue and there's nothing we can do about it after these five minutes if any player experiences a technical issue or something to do with uh, with omantel or whatsoever they have a maximum of five minutes post time per session so Okay, so we are resuming the game in, in one second now, so the Rise reconnected. And yeah, both teams are just going to head into lanes now. So just a, oh, a I quick... I just want to tell something, like it happened last game. All chat should not be used for other than pausing the game or stuff. Like you shouldn't use it to like other than saying GG or good luck and stuff like that. Like all chat is disabled. If like anything offensive or slightly annoying is said during the all chat, that team will have one minus champion ban in the next game. Yeah, we 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 do take like extreme punishment measures if if teams act unethically or as unsportsmanlike ship. So unfair play is, is a big factor for us and all multi. We want we want games to be fair. We want everyone to enjoy enjoy the games and and not not have any sensitive topics or anything or or. Uh, unsportsmanlike behaviors that will make other teams uh, pissed or something. So, unfair play is not tolerated for team uh, for OMLT. So yeah, post time five minutes per session is allowed and ten minutes per game. That's it. So these this is the end of of the pause rules. If you guys would like to know more about the rules, you can check out the Bakabuzu website 
uh, for the OMLT hub there. We have a special page for the rules. All right, so Blitzcrank is gonna start his blue buff while Warwick is starting with the Grump. The Grump is a good start for, for junglers because uh, the poison which gives the uh, the poison attacks from uh, from the smite reward will help the jungler uh, in his uh, in taking blue so easily. Okay, but so it seems like it's a only Blitzcrank jungler without the AD Kyle. So I'm a bit disappointed, but yes, it's a Blitzcrank jungle, guys. Hype, hype, hype. How exciting is that? Let's see how that turns out. Okay, so I guess pretty standard uh, starts, nothing major going on. I like the Le Blanc skin, you know, just to put it out there, it's a very nice skin. Yeah, but this is... Oh, you can see that Jace is engaging on Le Blanc, let's see if he can... Wow! Le Blanc is oh, the, fla the, f the f uh, ignite from Jason. Whoa! Was that the clone he was hitting? No, it wasn't the clone. If he continued hitting, or if his, uh, if his Q landed, he would have gotten that kill, but... Early aggression and he forces LeBlanc to back, but no, LeBlanc did not back. She's still lurking around in mid lane and she is going aggress aggressive. And again, Black Eye tried to to do the same trick. He warded the blue, but Warwick already took the blue, but wow. What? Black Eye just walks into mid lane and he finds a wild LeBlanc trying to recall and he knocks her with his E and then just pulls her with the, with the rocket grab and just grabs first blood so easy as that I have it's 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 funny that LeBlanc did not recall when she had the chance to recall at the beginning and she ended up uh, just yeah but she, she managed to burn the flash from Jace so that was good yeah well uh, team uh, Naughty Dylan seems to be picking up on the fact that Team Throws would want to counter jungle and pick up this red. So they rotated the support and the mid laner there. Some aggression from LeBlanc and she just took a big chunk of HP. 50% of Jace's HP went from just one combo. Yeah, and you can see that... Um the farming's pretty standard, I guess. Everything is... Good. And Caitlyn is left alone for some reason. Okay. Yeah, Braum went to help uh, Warwick with the red buff, just, just to be safe from any steals. Wow, some aggression in the mid lane and LeBlanc uses her combo and she gets this Jace really low with a quarter HP, but Jace just jumps back in and... He does the similar amount of damage, but nice aggression from LeBlanc. Yeah, I think... Um, both combos seem pretty good. They both can scale. The only thing is they have a Rise that scales into late game, and a Warwick as well. So they have that advantage. But let's mm. see if... Um, Team Throws can kind of counter that with the mid-early aggression, which is what they're doing right now. It seems that Team Throws always suffer in the early game, but once they start grouping up and picking those objectives, wow, that, well, LeBlanc misses her eternal chain, whatever it's called. And oh, the hook connects from LeBlanc and from Blitzcrank, sorry, but... Oh, Warwick is oh, she chasing. She completely juked them with her. What do you call it? Yeah, with the clone. She just—they left the clone. But um, it's just a tip for you guys. Anyone who's facing LeBlanc, the clone will always, always run away. If you don't, if if LeBlanc doesn't control her clone, her clone is bound to, bound to run away from danger. So ninety percent of the time. Uh, LeBlanc players try to juke by standing at their at their place without moving, but just so you know, the clone always runs away. And that's your insight for today. I think right. uh, Twitch is doing a good job <coughs> farming against these two. 
like I'd expect more poke coming down from the enemy team on Twitch because you know Caitlyn has a longer range than Twitch. But I think th this is what I meant. Like Warwick cannot offer any pressure at bot lane for them to scare that Twitch away until level six. Is Brom DC'd? He's just. Uh, oh yep. yeah, he has. Let's see if the pause comes out from for Brom. Alright, so th there you have it. Another pose, Brom seemed to be DC'd. He was standing in his own place. And now um, we will just wait for him to reconnect. Uh, just a small recap on the on the gold and the farm. Uh, Lissandra is doing pretty good in the top lane, out farming Rise, and that's expected. Until Rise now, he has his... Uh, Tear of the Goddess, so with Tear of a Goddess he can use his spells to uh, to farm, uh, also to charge Tear of the Goddess, it's only on 25 stacks, uh, on the 25 extra mana now. Warwick has not recalled yet and he's he's doing what a Warwick in the preseason would do, he's farming well in this jungle. Even though Blitzcrank has picked up one kill and he's now, uh, he upgraded his uh, smite to the to the smite that uh, reduced the movement speed of champions, so the standard smite, uh, the stalker's blade, uh, he is still at 8 uh, minions. So uh, Jace is farming efficiently in the mid lane versus LeBlanc. LeBlanc was just trying to put down some harass, maybe force this Jace out of the lane so she can farm freely. Bottom lane is pretty equal, uh, 45 to 45 CS. and. I think it, even though that it's equal CS, I give it to Twitch for farming uh, efficiently. Even though that uh, Caitlyn has the longer range and the longer harass, but he still farmed efficiently. And I think this is all thanks to Morgana's Dark Binding. They are zoning the enemy team and forcing them to just play safe behind minions and, and negate a bit on the harass factor that they have. Speaking of um, <coughs> Morgana, I noticed Morgan Toilet Paper had a golden boulder, which means he unlocks the Morgana Victoria skin, doesn't he? Yeah, he should. Yeah, golden and above. I, yeah, I was wondering why he didn't pick it. Because that would have been interesting to see. Kind of like show off, like, yeah, I have a Victoria skin. Woohoo. Actually, the Victoria's Morgana skin is not that bad. I mean, the animations is just very. Very incredible. Uh, if you compare it with the victorious Elise, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of the victorious uh, Elise. So, yeah. yeah. But it's good to have them to like, you know, it's the the rare skins. Well, I I like victorious uh, Charvin. That was a nice skin. Yeah, but it's still like good to have them. Like, oh, I have victorious skins. I did good in season one, two, three, and four, kind of thing. You know, it's just like a, a bragging thing, basically. So we're still waiting for um, Naughty Dylan's flesh heap to reconnect. Got disconnected, so let's get that sorted out. Uh, hopefully in the future we are planning on making these in proper venues no, with like good connections and stuff, so nobody, so everybody has the same exact advantage. <clears throat> but for now, as this is a starter thing and it's more convenient this way, we're do doing it online. But yeah, so let's see how that turns out. So yeah, there is, well, it's still too early, but we are past the five minutes, uh, five minutes allowed time for a recreate. So they should either try and reconnect or we'd have to start the game until uh, their support manages to reconnect as per the rules we have I, I didn't I didn't notice the time but how long was it since he's been disconnected well I'm, I'm not sure I, I didn't really but I think it was it's two, two minutes now for the but we can actually check I can check for a second give me a second
All right, so this seems to be their last minute. Uh, Solo, would you please let them know that after when it reaches 23, they have to recommence the game. Because they have exceeded their five minutes uh, limit per pose. So, yeah. The, I think that team throws will be forced to resume the game as per the rules. Uh, we are sorry, guys. We made these rules, so uh, no team is at a disadvantage. So, yeah. A has reconnected. Okay, so Brom managed to reconnect, so the game should be resuming now. Okay, guys, so we have just resumed the game and we have all people reconnected. So, yeah, we're sorry for these poses. They kind of kill the momentum of us as well, the shoutcasters, but. Now we're back in the game. Hopefully we'll but it's see. Fine. And that, that's some aggression in the mid lane, and the chain connects from LeBlanc, and she gets uh, Jace to have HP, but as well Jace rebottles with his. Wow, Jace goes in for the ignite, but that was and a gank from from Blitzcrank, and he didn't didn't activate his yeah and now he uses the and he's waiting for the flash so he pulls and he oh, misses the pull wow. wow that was a great great patience from uh from uh rise not to waste his flash too early and he flashed and he and he knew i think that black eye was expecting him to go to the right side but he juked it to the left and that that hook missed barely missed and well Still, none, nonetheless, very, very nice gank from Blitzcrank. Okay, so Leblanc just hit a level six. Well, a moment ago, actually. Chase is just going really aggressive on her, and he just she can't just. I mean, she has to burst them down, mm. and like get all her combo down. Otherwise, she just can't just sustain herself in the lane against them. Funny thing is, Lissandra is beating Rise in CS. I mean, Rise is usually weak in early game. Wow, okay, that was a nice uh, attack by Lee Blank there. She managed to get Jace down. I think she was just waiting. The thing is, because Jace was cocky, cocky knowing that Lee Blank was low and he was not going to go back, but he just kind of misjudged the burst the Lee Blank can dish out. Okay, so it seems that Lissandra is going to take the top tower, but she decides to <coughs> oh. dive instead. And wow, okay. that damage. Oh, the tower is just one hit away, and she manages to pick up a tower and a kill as well in the top lane. Very nice played by Lissandra. Right, so uh, Caitlyn went back and she got her pickaxe. She, I think she should have just like farmed longer and should have went for the BF sword, but I guess movement speed and a pickaxe isn't a bad thing. Uh... Warwick is level 6, while Blitzcrank is still level 4. So you can see who's the better jungler right now. I mean, like, champion-wise. Obviously, Blitzcrank is not really working. Oh, and he nearly got killed by... What's the new Wraith scam called? Okay. Oh, wow. He just, yeah, he just can't get them down. He needs to recall. Yeah, Blitzcrank ganked and he got first blood. And he's still, what do you call it, level 4. So, we should be expecting some ganks from Warwick now, as he's level 6. So we'll see how that turns out in the next few minutes. And, oh! 
nobody's worried in Dragon yet, even though that's a big objective. And the enemy team should have need to see Blitzcrank in the jungle somehow, like maybe put a deep ward in just to see how he is. I mean, they can easily just like start Dragon knowing he's still level 4. Things are passive. Um, well, Team Throws is up by 2k gold. Wow, Bram goes in for the ulti. Caitlyn is behind attacking. He so missed his ulti though. But wow, the Morgana ult and aggression does a lot of damage to Caitlyn. But yeah, I think this Bram is just gonna fall now for, for this Twitch. Very. Oh, aggression from LeBlanc, but. Wow, the Warwick Flash ulti, but he gets knocked into and pulled again under the tower. LeBlanc picks up the kill on this Jace, but also Jace picks up the kill. But wow, Black Eye just picked up a kill on LeBlanc. That was a nice counter gank by Blitzcrank. And his flash grab was on point there. Yeah, but it, it was it was a good idea from Warwick that he wanted to counter gank. They still picked up a kill, but very nice positioning from Jace that he he knocked uh, he knocked the Warwick into the tower, and then he forced Warwick to. R oh, and team throws are doing what they do best. They're going for this first dragon, which will give them that eight percent extra damage. So this this is this is the most important dragon, as I mentioned before, but. Yeah, Ryze is also nowhere close to taking this top turret, but he should he should be able to take it. But Lissandra is just moving her way up to the top lane now. The thing is, um, if you notice that Team Naughty Dylan's mid lane and top lane's farming is just really bad. I mean, they're not catching up with the farm, even though they can like farm easily, I guess, instead of just like harassing. I think they spend too much time trying to poke the enemy down rather than get minions. But as you see, the classic uh, team throws warding thing in the red jungle, they always kind of like to put these three wards in those three exits. Oh, we can s Let's crank is ganking Lee Blank. Let's see if she can get away from that. Oh, she managed to get away. Wow, um, yeah, so, Blitzcrank jungle is kind of working now. <coughs> oh, he grabs Caitlyn off the wall, let's see if the, the team follows up with that. Oh, and he gets caught in a tricky spot, but Morgana shields him, so he should be fine with escaping. Okay, Blitzcrank is going in and chasing again. Let's see if he grabs Caitlyn again or somebody else. He's not gonna go for Brahm. Oh, and he grabs Caitlyn from between them all. Wow, and Morgana ulties, but Morgana's going down. Oh, she managed to escape. Wow. Double kill for Jace. Warwick is chasing down Blitzcrank. Let's see if he gets him. And he gets a kill. And the ult comes down from Lissandra. Lissandra takes down Warwick. Wow, what a crazy trade. And Ryze is just still top and he did not teleport he had teleport ready and there was a ward there so he could have teleported to the ward and had the team but he just stayed at the top and turret goes down let's see if they follow up on this rises in a very spotty in a bad position and he managed to escape So Lissandra managed to complete her Rod of Ages, while Rai still has a Catalyst and a Tear. And let's see the items across the board, yeah. So only Lissandra managed to complete one item so far. And yeah, I think it's pretty... Oop! And LeBlanc gets caught by Blitzcrank. Wow! And she dodges that. Wow, nice jukes by LeBlanc. This LeBlanc is doing really well. Like some really nice jukes and kind of tricking the enemy in lots of places. But as you can see, that Blitzcrank jungle is really effective because of his uh, picking potential, and that's what a jungler 
but jungler's job is basically like to kind of gank and have a good pick potential. Oh, Bright is waiting up there. Let's see if he can. Oh no, he decides against it. Okay, so blue team are trying to defend their blue buff, but let's crank and Brahm is still trying to get it. Let's see if Lee Blank and Caitlyn can follow up here. Oh, Twitch is going in. <laughs> and they pull... Uh, did Warwick get it? Yes, Warwick managed... Warwick smited it. Oh, Twitch gets caught and he completely gets locked out. Jace comes in on Caitlyn. Let's see if... Oh, the teleport from Ryze is coming in. <laughs> Let's see if... Oh, nice ulti by Bram kind of stops that, but a bit too late, but that's okay. Warwick takes down Black Eye. Let's see if they can get down Morgana. Okay, Morgana's gonna get stunned now if they just need to auto attack her a few times. Oh, the shield should stop the stun. Oh, Lissandra comes in. She, oh, wow. Nice plays by Lissandra. Oh, Morgana goes down. Wow. Plays. That was a very, very messy fight by Team Throws. They completely got caught out of position. They should have just left that red buff. They committed to, to it for like so much. But that was some. And Team Naughty didn't capitalize on that and caught them. But regardless, Team throws a stun 6k, up, well, nearly 5k more gold than Team didn't. So let's see how this game turns out. Uh, if you're wondering, Matty disappeared, kind of. I don't know where he is. So I'm here alone. For me. Yeah, Ryze managed to complete his Rod of Ages as well. So that's a good thing as well. I mean, Ryze is a late game champ, and this sh should be able to kind of help him scale better now. Okay, Dragon is coming up in 40 seconds. And both teams should have just... Oh, wow. Delta comes down from Lissandra. Let's see if it's enough to take... Oh, it was more than enough to take her down. Let's... And Caitlyn gets caught. <laughs> that was a nice snare by Morgana. So, Lissandra is 5-0-0. Zero, zero. That's gonna hurt them. Oh, this gets kind of caught out of position, but the blank's damage is just not enough to take him down. And again... <laughs> Lee Plank jukes them, but Twitch manages to catch her. Uh, shout out to Neon Ninja, I guess. Yeah, thank you for sticking with us and watching all these matches. You're awesome. Okay, Dragon is up, and again, team throws. I'm not gonna let that one go. Alright, so that's the second buff for Team Throws, and that gives you 15% damage to minions and monsters. Okay, so the goalie just keeps on increasing for Team Throws. Let's see how long Team Dylan can hold them off. And Team Dylan aren't really putting down many wards, there's like two wards, well, three now. While Team Throws has really good word control over the right side of the jungle which is important when you want to go for dragons, dragons and stuff <laughs> um, yeah so we can see who's the dominant team from this group and oh Lissandra just burst down rise with ease oh she got deathfire grasp as well so yep Okay, shout out to Ali Shahid. I'm sorry if I spelled, if I said your name wrong. But yeah, he's been watching since the start as well. You guys are awesome, you are our favorite fans. Okay, Warwick locks down Twitch to see if Twitch goes down. Oh wow, and Twitch survives. Morgana's ulti comes in, let's see. If... And they couldn't get them down, they're both so low. Red 
Okay. <laughs> wow. Flash grab by Black Eye. Black Eye is known for his flash jungle engages. Oh, this this Lee Blank plays is just like on point. Honestly, even though he's <coughs> doesn't have many kills and good farm, his mechanics are excellent. And Braum gets caught out and that burst from Lissandra and Jace is just like, yep. And the Goldie just keeps on going and going and I think that's it. You can obviously guess who's going to win this game. And the fans voted for it and they knew who were they voting for or were they voting right. I don't even remember the votes. But yeah. So, I'm just waiting for Matty to come back and then maybe he can give us some insight on that. So guys, what do you think of Blitzcrank's jungling so far? I mean, it's not as fast as you expect it to be. I'm guessing in a... A better... Well, a different team comp, he might lose. Or against a different team who kind of understand how to counter Blitzcrank jungle. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose that teams are not used to having a Blitzcrank jungle. And, and Black he's Eye is back. <laughs> yes, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, uh, uh, I mean, Black Eye proved that Blitzcrank is a viable jungler. But even though he's behind in C uh, CS, but he is bringing to his team more than what Warwick is putting on the table right now. And team uh, throws are pushing this bot lane, and it, it just gets destroyed so easily. Okay, so Blitzcrank walks, face checks this bush, and almost gets melted, and he dies okay, from the. He just flies up to everyone and catches. Him. But again, look at the ulti from uh, from Lissandra. She just picks up an easy triple kill. So yeah, uh, I think this is with 11k gold difference for team throws, I don't think Noted Dylan has any chance of coming back into this game. And again, I feel like somebody on one team should have at least one tanky champion to be the front line in team fights and stuff. Like, I mean, it's not... Um, like important to do that but it's like recommended kind of because you need one person to kind of engage and kind of you know take some damage while the team fights are happening to give a chance for us, for the rest of the team to kind of what do you call it clean up i guess but if your front line is going to be squishy then your back line isn't going to be defended is it All right, okay. so team Dragon team throws. Five seconds. Well, yeah, yeah, and I think that team now. throws are gonna pick this as well because team Naughty Dilling are nowhere to contest it. But look at that! Wow, totally destroyed, totally me melted this LeBlanc. Just one ultimate from this Lissandra means death. Wow, yeah, I just want to point out that uh, Mizuki's. Oh wow! wow. <laughs> this is. <laughs> from just this barely escape. Anyway, I just want to point, point out that Mizuki is doing really well as opposed to how he played last game. So guys, this is the new Baron. You can see how fancy he looks. And Warwick just like face checks and gets completely obliterated. Twitch is going down. Oh, wow. Twitch nearly went down. They managed to get Baron down. Okay, so now with the code lead up 13k. It's just, 
GG, I guess, from here. Oh, KP headshot really gets. Oh, Rise is top. I don't know why it... Rise is. In, from Team North, he didn't, not both teams. Team Throws uh, communication is like on point. And I'm Liat left again without Matsy. I'm gonna make him shoutcast the next game on his own while I go. And get my McDonald's, yes, I'm gonna get McDonald's. You can get McDonald's later. <clears throat> uh, if any of the teams that are gonna be playing next game are watching this or listening, please prepare yourselves while I go get my McDonald's. <laughs> and that's the third dragon to team throws, giving yeah. them movement speed, 5% movement speed. Yeah, team throws are on point with their objective control so far. They, in both their games, they picked up all dragons and all, uh, all dragons and all barons. I think it was one baron that, wow, and the pull on Warwick, but also gets knocked away by Jace. Uh, if he was knocked away, maybe the other way it would have been different, but... Okay. Oh, those Blitzcrank grabs are just like, what? Nerf. And LeBlanc does it again. Complete jukes. Yeah, the and they caught the wrong one. But wow, a twitch comes from the side he flanks and with the ta -ta 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 -ta, he kills that. Well, well, uh, he kills that LeBlanc. Very nice play. Team throws are on point and I think they can just start closing this game now slowly oh an hourglass i think he was expecting something but or maybe it was a misclick or possibly just a troll think, hourglass yeah. uh neo ninja i was thinking of getting chicken nuggets by the way but i'm not sure if i should get a burger and chicken nuggets or just chicken nuggets see i'm like really hungry i'm starving That Deathfire grasp combo with Lissandra is just insane. But it's not an easy one to pull off, just so everyone knows. It's like, it requires some skill. And you can see, look at, look at the minions. They're like so big. Yeah, as I mentioned before, that when you have the hand of Baron, look at that cannon minion just hitting from far away. So OP. Alright, so they pick up another kill. It seems that these kills are coming easy for team uh, throws. Uh, the the Morgana, Morgana ultis and she picks up another kill by Jason. Well, this seems to be game, everyone. Like, they just, they're just, for the second game today, they're just walking in the enemy base like it's their own. Alright, so here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Throws picks up their second game of the day uh, versus Team Naughty Dylan. This means that Team Throws are now into the semi-final as the first seed of Group A. Congratulations, Team Throws. Very well.